T-Rex, the big bad dino. We've known for a long time what a T-Rex looked like, right? Well, forget looks. Now we can smell dino breath. Hate to break it to you, it stinks. <laughs> Oh my god, it smells so bad! If you're eating meat and you have teeth with little jagged edges or teeth with spaces in between them and you're eating meat, that meat gets caught in your teeth and starts to rot because you're a T-Rex, you can't floss. Oh. <laughs> that is disgusting. If you're squeamish, if that grosses you out, there are other ways to get closer to Sue's world. You can feel molds of dino skin, mammal-like critters fur as well, and they also have plants that you can smell, which are way better than Sue's breath. Something when you hear it, you wanna get far away. You can go back in time 67 million years and see what it was like to be in the T-Rex world. Barney Stinson would say, have you met Sue? Sue is the world's largest and most complete T-Rex skeleton ever discovered. And now, Sue lives in Chicago at the Field Museum. The field has added some really cool multi-sensory stations so you can get closer to Sue's world. We have brought Sue even more to life. And one of the things scientists figured out is roughly what they think Sue's breath would have smelled like. If you're eating meat and you have teeth with little jagged edges or teeth with spaces in between them and you're eating meat, that meat gets caught in your teeth and starts to rot because you're a T-Rex, you can't floss. So you can straight up stick your nose into something that is supposed to smell like the inside of a T-Rex mouth. And I gotta tell you, it is disgusting. I gagged twice. Oh. I was like, oh, this is so bad. It's terrible. So Sue lived in the Cretaceous era. The field says that's about 67 million years ago. Imagine, 67 million years ago. But this new exhibit makes it easier for you to imagine what that world would have been like, which is really cool. It's basically time travel, right? Without the fear of being eaten. It's win-win. You can feel molds of dino skin, including T-Rex. They have mammal-like critters fur as well. Great work. Didelphodon. It's a modern day mammal's fur, but it's pretty close, they say, to a didelphodon. Didelphodon, didelphodon, didelphodon. Nope, can't say that three times fast. And they also have plants that you can smell, which are way better than Sue's breath. It's supposed to simulate what it would have been like to hear Sue's rumble. And it was like hearing a volcano erupt. Something when you hear it, you wanna get far away. That's pretty scary. I don't wanna hear that ever again. This was definitely one of the stranger days at a museum I've had, but it was really cool. You can live when she lived, and you can like almost be with her in that time. <laughs>